You might be smarter. Your family might come from privilege. Your daddy might own a company, but you will not outwork me. This top spot, this number one, that's mine. Because not one of you can outwill me. You may have been born with more genetic prowess than I have, but you cannot outdetermine me. You can't outwill me. You can't outwant me. You can't outwork me. You can't outdesire me. The bigger your dream is, the harder to grind. You might have small beginnings. You might not have a lot of money. You might not have a lot of resources, but there's no excuse. And I need you to understand that the bigger your dream is, the earlier you're gonna have to get up. The longer you're gonna have to stay up. The more effort you're gonna have to put in. You know how hard I worked to get here? I put in too many hours. I sweat too much blood, too much tears. I worked hard to get here. Didn't nobody give me this. I didn't grow up with wealth. Didn't nobody pay me. I worked for this. Sweat, blood, tears. I earn every dime I get. I worked for this. You will not outwork me because your height has nothing to do with my work ethic. Your face has nothing to do with my work ethic. You will not outwork me. You got to kill. What's going to separate you from everybody else? I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have, the grind that I have when I do what I do. I got a different motor. I got a different grind. I'm always going to give you my 110%. That's the only thing I can ever say a solid day's work. If you guys do not do that, I promise you, your life will haunt you for the rest of your days. From today on, you play whatever your best game is, you play that level every single time. It doesn't mean you're gonna score every time, but you can always give 120% effort. You can't dictate what kind of game you're gonna have. You can't dictate how your body is gonna respond to moving around, but you can dictate your effort. Your dream come when you push. And I'm not gonna give you no cookies and ice cream. Push. It's alive. It's inside. How do you know you feel it? You dream about it. You eat and sleep it every day. So push. Just push past the plate. Push. Don't quit. Push. And you push your way to success. You have a chance to control your destiny. All of us are created equal. Some of us just work harder. Some of us just grind. Some of us don't make excuses. Some of us don't give up and give in. What we do with the pressure is we say, I got to take it, and I got to take it to another level. Many of you have lost your competitive edge. Get your competitive edge back. Act like you playing basketball. Act like you playing football. Go on that dog on classroom. Compete. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. You're giving 50. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they pay for, and it ain't free. You might be bigger than me, you might be faster than me, you might be stronger than me, but you will not outwork me. You get a breakthrough when you fight. That's the hardest part because the breakthrough, that last 10% is all mental toughness. It's time to unwrap the potential you need. It's within you. And the people that have risen to that level were no different than any one of us. It's just they believed it and they're willing to work their fucking ass off to get it. It wasn't about the potential. It wasn't about the genetics. It was about the perseverance. And it was about being the hardest fucking worker in the room. While you're over there watching me and talking about me, I'm working. I'm working hard. I'm taking things to the next level. You keep gossiping and I'll keep working. You keep talking smack and I'll keep working. You keep focusing on everything and everyone else and I'll keep working. And when you finally look around at where you are and where I'm at, you realize that you have nothing left to talk smack about and you will lose and I will win. What if the truth is that changing your life is one away? One decision, one meeting, one conversation, one extra phone call, one extra rep in the gym. You start stacking up those one mores. That's the separator. In life, we don't get our goals. We get our standards. You meet somebody who doesn't have self-confidence, this is someone who's perpetually not keeping promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody with pretty good baseline confidence, you've met somebody who now keeps the promises they make to themselves. You meet somebody doing superhuman things, they keep the promises they make to themselves, and they do one more. There's a power to one more. When you start stacking up those one mores, not only have you put more contacts out into the universe, but you start believing, I'm doing something most people aren't willing to do. I'm fixing to get something most people aren't gonna get. I don't have that natural beauty or that natural talent or this gift for creativity or intellect or humor. I don't have any of those things. 
But what I got is I will outwork you. When it's 45 on the treadmill, I do 46. When it's supposed to be 20 phone calls, I make 21. When it's supposed to be an eight hour workday, I work nine. Whatever it is, I always do one more. And what that does is it makes me eventually think I'm doing things other people aren't willing to do, so I should get things other people aren't gonna get. You've gotta understand, it's not about what you were born with. It's not about what you were given, where you started, or even where you're going. It is entirely about what you plant at the center of your soul. How hard you're willing to go after something. How much focus you're willing to put in your life. And how often you come back to that level of intensity for who you want to be. You have to make a decision that nobody in your position will outwork you. Some people run faster, swim better, but mentality is mentality. You're not gonna outwork me, so I'm gonna catch up somewhere. If you are not that talented, you can beat them with time. You can get to the spot before they get to the spot. Get your butt up and get there. Every day is a new day. Every moment is a new moment. So now you gotta go out and show them that I'm a different creature. Now, cause I'm pissed off for greatness. Cause if you ain't pissed off for greatness, that means you okay with being mediocre. There ain't no man in here okay with being just space. And I dare you to exhaust yourself. I dare you to leave every single thing on the field one season, everything, walk off exhausted. Wins and losses come a dime a dozen. The effort, nobody can judge effort. Cause effort is between you and you. Effort ain't got nothing to do with nobody else. I want you to know when you dream your dream that there are other people who are dreaming the exact same dream. When you said to yourself, this is what I want to accomplish, you're not the only person that wants to accomplish it. And now I ask you this question, what do you do when a thousand other people want exactly what you want? What do you do when you're not the only one that wants to make a million dollars in your company? You're not the only one that wants to be a CEO. What if you're not the only one that wants what you want? What if there are thousands of other people who want what you want? You have to outwork them. You gotta get up earlier. You gotta stay up later. You gotta execute and you gotta go from 70 to 120. How many of you can honestly look yourself in the mirror and say, I am doing my best. Because if you can, you're fucking lying to yourself. Your job right now and how you execute that job is going to create the success habits that you're going to need down the road. How you do one thing is how you do everything. If it's making fries, if you ain't making the best motherfucking fries every fucking time, guess what? You ain't gonna fucking make it. If you can't sweep the warehouse floor better than the next guy, you ain't gonna fucking make it. Because here's the truth. Losers always talk about how they hate to lose, but they don't do anything about it. But you know what winners do? Winners will do whatever the fuck it takes. Winners will show up and stay late every fucking day until they're winning. Winners will talk to anybody they can that can help them and take the lessons to heart and put them in play. Losers talk about hating to lose. Losers say they hate to lose. Losers talk about how they want to win. Winners do what the fuck it takes. And that means beating the next guy. If you aren't going to work at your job every day and looking at all the other motherfuckers and thinking, dude, I'm gonna beat the shit out of all of you, you don't have what it takes. Winners wanna be the best. Winners have pride in being dominant amongst their teammates. All men are created equal. Some just work harder. You wanna know what it takes to succeed as bad as you wanna breathe. It's what goes on when the cameras go off. Hard work, determination, and grit. You will not outwork me. I will get up earlier than you. I will go to sleep later than you. I will put in more hours than you. I will read more than you. I will grow. I will do whatever it takes. You gotta eat it, you gotta drink it, you gotta sleep it, like it has to consume who you are. And if you're gonna be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're gonna be the apex, you gotta be it, not talk about it. That people know when they think about this area, that's something you do. That you eat and sleep that. And that you do that, you do that. And people know it. You gotta be it, it has to consume you. It has to take over you, that when I see you without even knowing you, I ought to be able to look at you and from your ethos, I ought to see you are the best of the best. I ought to know what you're doing without you saying one word. It ought to illuminate from you. 
you've got to work on it. When other folk are having a good time, you've got to have the strength of character to concentrate, to read, to digest information. The stronger your mindset is, the greater your skill set is going to be. Michael and Kobe weren't the greatest athletes, but their mindset is what separates those individuals. Separate yourself. You playing against other teams and you doing exactly what they're doing. Separate yourself. Stop doing what they're doing. If you stop doing what they're doing, you're going to be a champion. Stop following. No more following. No more doing what everybody else is doing. Set the doggone standards. It's time for y'all to set the standard. We can't be complacent and we can't take our foot off the enemy's throat. We are going to be relentless. We are not going to give him the chance to regroup. He will not get the chance to recover. We are not going to stop until there is nothing left to pursue. You've got to do more. You've got to become valuable. You've got to understand that what you get paid to do is the minimum. And everything on top of that is your investment in your future. Get out of bed, come here in the morning. Go on for it, and I'll sleep it. Put yourself in the opportunity to get that break. The more sh- you throw against the wall, something will eventually stick. It doesn't stick three minutes to die. The first step into making a dream a reality is waking the f- up. I was never the strongest guy. I'm not the fastest guy. I'm not the smartest guy. But I will work. And I will work hard. I will be up when my competitors sleep. I will be up when my enemy is curled up in bed. I will be up getting after it. And I recommend that you do the same. People always say, you got to love the work. You got to love what you do. You don't have to love what you do. You got to get addicted to what you do. You got to be addicted to winning. You cannot work short hours. You got to work long hours. You got to work smarter and you got to work harder. It's the work that you put in, the time and effort, the dedication, the hours that nobody else saw here, the sacrifices. You have to be disciplined. You have to be obsessive. You have to be addicted to the result. At the end of the day, the person that will surrender is the person that didn't work as hard as the other person. You got to work harder than the other person. So just when you felt like you did that last rep and your muscles are saying, it's, it's, I can't do no more reps, you said, I, yeah, you gotta do one more. Because right now, while you quitting, he might be doing five more. While you quitting and giving up, while you saying, all right, I did enough, it's time to rest, he might just be getting his all. If you wanna be great, you wanna be the best motherfucker ever at what you do, you can be misunderstood by everybody because you're gonna be so fucking obsessed and so driven to get there. That's what it takes. It takes every second of your fucking life. Anybody says balance? Yeah, balance is important for a lot of fucking people. But if you wanna fucking go to that edge where people do not like you, don't understand you, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best in the world at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of energy and strength that you have to pull it off. I do things to separate myself from everybody else. The passion that I have when I speak, the grind that I have when I do what I do. What are you going to do to separate yourself? If you ain't got more heart than me, if you ain't been working harder than me, if you ain't sacrificed more than me, I'm going to destroy you. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care how many games you won. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. You're not giving 120. You're giving 70. You're giving 60. And you won't with these people who've given sweat, who's given blood, who's given tears. You won't what they paid for and it ain't free. It has everything to do with what time you wake up. It has everything to do with how you eat. It has everything to do with how you work out, how you prepare. It has every single thing to do with how you think. And when you want as bad as you want to breathe says, I'm willing to make any sacrifice. I'm willing to go through any pain. I'm willing to go through any suffering. I'm willing to go through whatever it takes. So when I get in there and it's me and him one-on-one, that I guarantee you at the end of it, I won't be the one that surrenders. And if you're going to be the best, the cream of the crop, if you're going to be the apex, you got to be it. It has to consume you. You can't get out of something, something that you're not willing to put into it. You have to put your everything, your everything, your mind, your energy, your effort, your discipline. Nothing is going to jump out the fire. If you don't throw something in there, it's not going to happen. You got to learn how not to give up or how not to give in. And you got to understand that greatness is within you. And you got to pull it out. You got to climb every mountain. You got to cry if you got to. But whatever you do, you cannot give up. You cannot give in. Nobody ever said it would be easy. I know greatness is within you, and you got what it takes. 
I don't care what it costs. I will do whatever it takes to win. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. I'm going to fail. And I will succeed. I'm speaking to the people who want more. The people who want to be the f***ing pinnacle. The people who want to be accomplished. The people who want to make a f***ing difference. You guys are going to have to go all the f*** in. Make a 100% commitment to give the best effort you've ever given to outwork, out-improve, out-strategize, outlast like never before. You can't be motivated anymore. You don't need others to motivate you. You have to be self-motivated. You have to dedicate every f***ing breath, every f***ing ounce of energy, and every f***ing thought and effort that you possibly have in your heart to becoming what it is you want to be. If you really want to make an impact, you're going to get a lot of judgment, you're going to get a lot of hate, people are going to just diss on you, people are going to say, who do you think you are? If no one thinks you're crazy, you're not yet operating to the outer limits of your potential. I actually appreciate my haters. My haters keep me grinding. I tell them all the time, if you want to pay attention to success, watch me. A lion never negotiates with a hyena. He ain't waking up in the morning and saying, I'm going to go hang out with some hyenas. Because he don't concern himself with the conversations of hyenas. An eagle flies at a certain altitude. And the only other bird flies at that altitude is another eagle. So if he find himself flocking with pigeons, he may be flying too low. See, sometimes we asking ourselves, why my friends treating me like this? You hanging out with pigeons. Why are they talking about me like this? Man, you hanging out with pigeons. Eagles ain't got time to gossip. Kings don't gossip. Fools party, kings celebrate. I might not be the fastest, the strongest, the smartest, none of that crap, but I'll outwork your ass and I flat out want it more than you. It's relentlessness, man. It's pushing past barriers. It's every time you get somewhere, it's wanting to go to the next level. You guys are entitled to sh What you're entitled to is an opportunity to show up and be your best. Everyone's like, oh, Craig, you're lucky. You got this, Craig, you're lucky. Everything you do is luck. Bullsh, because before it was luck. It was a belief. And every day with no one watching at five in the morning by myself, I trained it because I believed in it. In hopes that one day my trained ability collided with an opportunity to show it off. That's what luck is. That's what success is. Nothing subjective in there. It's all you. You gotta look at how much you're working. You gotta look at how much effort you're making. The intention you're putting out there. You gotta go where nobody else wants to go. You gotta work the hours nobody else wants to house. You have to resolve yourself today that you're going to dominate. That you're not average and ordinary. There has to become a point where you make a decision. We're gonna dominate. We're here to win. We are not here to play. And that takes some intestinal fortitude. I'm where I'm at because I just flat decided I'm gonna be a player. I decided at some point I get to choose who I am. The world doesn't tell me who I am. I write these chapters. You don't need the world's permission. You don't need anyone's permission to be great. Only permission you need is from that motherfucker who stares at you back in the mirror every day and a willingness to do the hard fucking work longer, harder, and better than anyone. So what are you going to do? Are you going to buy another success program looking for the secret recipe that doesn't exist? Or are you going to go do something right fucking now and do something that brings you closer to greatness? That's your choice. If you're going to make it, You've got to be willing to be the outlier. The weird one. Forget about fitting in. Forget about socializing with everyone. You need to stand out. When people don't understand you, you're doing it right. It's time to stay focused, man. It is time. It is time to go from mediocre to meteoric. It's time to decide f clubs, f partying, f trying to fit in and socialize, rub elbows with everybody so people can stop calling you weird. Why are you so antisocial? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you staying on the basketball court so much? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you out there practicing in the hot sun when ain't nobody else out there? Because I'm trying to get it. Why are you not clubbing like every time I text you and invite you to go do something fun and cool, you always studying? Because I'm trying to get it. The more weird you are is a reflection of how committed you are to focusing on your sh molding and shaping and developing your ideas and your craft so that when it's time for you to make your rounds, you gonna fly.
When you are misunderstood to the point where people think you're psycho and you're nuts and you're this and that, why are you in the fucking gym at one o'clock in the fucking morning? What's wrong? When people don't understand you anymore, you're in that spot of obsession and drive. To be the best at what you do, you have to be unbalanced to find every bit of fucking energy and strength that you have to pull it off. And it takes being fucking obsessed to where people think you're crazy. You still got work to do. Stay on that basketball court. Stay on that football field. F all the homies texting and calling and trying to make you feel bad about being so focused. It's grind season, homie. It's not about today. It's about the future. Do the work now, and all of the shit that you could ever want to do for your family, your kids, your loved ones, it's all going to be on a whole other stratosphere. You got to come out your comfort zone, because your comfort zone is the deadliest place you will ever be. You should never feel comfortable. You should be happy and dissatisfied. You might outwork me for 30 days or 60 days or 90 days, but you ain't gonna beat me over a year. You can't outwork me over two years. I'm gonna get you eventually. I'm a dripping damn faucet. I just keep coming at you. I'm too damn tough to give up. Most people half-ass half their life all the time. I knew they were gonna get tired. They were gonna get down. They quit improving themselves. They start sleeping in. I'm not gonna do that stuff. I'm gonna get up early. I'm gonna keep getting wide. I'm gonna stay relentless. If you want to show me you want to win that bad, pack your calendar. You pack your calendar, that's how you show the world that you want to win because everything is based off of activity. It's very hard when you go up against somebody that shows up every flipping day where you sit there and say, take a damn week off, go on vacation. Why don't you slow down for a day or a month or two months or three months? Please, let me catch up. Because hungry people, they're just more urgent than everybody else. Oh. Oh, you don't need to work on weekends. Why do you work so hard at night? Why do you get up so early and do that? Why do you train so hard? Why are you reading all these books when we're out drinking beer? When you're obsessed, they're like, why are you going to be so crazy? Why can't you be satisfied? Why do you always got to get things so perfect? Why do you spend so much time here? When you're obsessed, people think you're nuts. Anybody ever tell you, hey, look, just be satisfied with what you got? No, don't believe them. Get them away from me. Because the attempt to get more makes you into something better. While they go party, you grind. While they go spend their money, you go make it. While they criticize and make fun of you, you work endlessly to shut them up with your results. Don't kill them with kindness. Torture them with success. The best revenge is massive success. 